Hi, this is Laura Tucker with Really Entertainment News. Victoria Beckham told her son, Brooklyn, that he couldn't do a reality TV show with girlfriend, Chloe Grace Moretz. Really? The 17-year-old son of Victoria and David is being pursued by TV producers who want to get him on him and Chloe on reality TV. But the former Spice Girl thinks he's too young, yet he really wants to do it. Victoria and David want him to focus on his photography career. So what does he tell the producers? Uh, sorry guys, mom won't let me. Scott Bayo is defending his Republican National Convention speech in an interview. Really? I think he's done with his, sex, his second 15 minutes, but he still believes Donald Trump is going to win, saying he knows he's way ahead with, the, with independence and believes the silent majority is about done with the crap. Maybe he hasn't heard that there are some Republican politicians who are already saying they will vote for Hillary Clinton. When asked about Trump insulting the Khan family, he started talking about Hillary in regards to Benghazi and emails. So let's go back to really old stuff that happened a long time ago that has already been solved rather than discuss the new stuff that Trump is doing weekly. That makes sense. Jojo Fletcher and Jordan Rogers are going on a double date with Ben Higgins and Lauren Bushnell for the Higgins' new reality TV series, Ben and Lauren Happily Ever After. Really? Awkward. Remember, Lauren and Jojo were the fi finalists on Ben's season of The Bachelor. However, an eyewitness said the four of them seemed generally happy together and compared Bachelor Bachelorette stories and Jojo and Lauren compared their Neil Lane engagement rings. You can't tell me they would have opted to do that if it wasn't being filmed. Glenn Campbell's kids are still saying they aren't being allowed to visit their dad. Really? That's really sad. I don't care what's going on with your dysfunctional family. Let the kids see their dad before he dies. That's insane. Just like what happened with Casey Kasem and Peter Falk. Two of his kids say they aren't being allowed to see him and have started a GoFundMe page to help them pay for their lawyers. Glenn is suffering from Alzheimer's and his wife Kim is blocking the kids from seeing him despite the quote, Glenn Campbell slash Peter Falk bill, end quote, that says no one with power of attorney or guardianship can deny visitation by family and friends unless they have a court order. Some people feel she's exploiting him by still having him perform. Regardless of anything else going on, to not allow kids to see their dad when he obviously doesn't have long to live is just sad. 